Looks like there's a new sheriff in town, and that's Affinity. So it's advertised as a free alternative to Adobe, and you guys have actually asked me if I've tried it out. The answer is no, but we're gonna do that today because we love free stuff. The idea is very simple. I'm gonna recreate this, which I've done before on my channel, with one of the easier layouts that we've done. And I'm just gonna see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I've already gone and downloaded it. And look at that, free for everyone, very nice. Let's try to do a letter size page. Great, and it looks like on the top here, you can select Vector, which Illustrator. Pixel Studio, I'm assuming is Photoshop. And Layout, I'm assuming is InDesign. So let's, let's stick to Layout. First thing I wanna do is create two spreads. Okay, add page after. Okay, I got the page in. How do I make them facing pages? Let's see. Duplicate? No, that's not it. Document setup. Document setup. Facing pages on. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Boom. Just like that. If we add another one here after. There we go. Okay. How do I zoom in and out? Control. Scroll wheel. Okay. That's one way. And same. It's very intuitive actually. You use the middle mouse button. Uh, you can also use the space button and drag your left mouse around. So. Very similar to Adobe, very intuitive. I love that. Ah, oh, man, it's the, the zoom difference, the zoom shortcut difference is throwing me off a little bit, but we will adjust. All right, so actually, I've had these pages in portrait, not landscape. So let's see if we can change that. Oh, sorry, right here. Document setting. Whole document, switch that. Great. Margins, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Bleed, also gonna turn that on, 0.125. Hit OK. Let's create some square frames and see if we can make them round. Wow, that sounds really basic. So over here, what do we got? Frame text tool, table tool, artistic text tool. Okay. Pen, rectangle, picture frame, picture frame, place, data merge, vector crop, fill, transparency, color picker, view, zoom. Okay. A lot of similar names. We're going to use this picture frame rectangle tool working exactly the same. Now, Moment of truth. Does V go back? Yes, it does. V is the same shortcut. That is huge. That is actually huge. Over on the right here, I have layers, character, paragraph, text style. Okay, that's great. So let's see if we can make this into something that is rounded. So if I make this into a 45 degree, how do I make the corners round? No, it's not an edit. No, no, not seeing it anywhere here. Okay, interesting. Okay, I, I found it, I found it. They actually made it a lot easier than what it is in Adobe. You just have to go to corners, of course. Round that corner, oh my God, looking great. Le wow, okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Let me copy a bunch of these so that we have our frame. So let's see if the alt drag still, it does. Great, alt drag is still copy, love it. So yeah, let me, let me do this with a bunch of these. Very intuitive. Let me show, yeah, there we go. We changed the color in the stroke right there. So we have our nice frame over here. Okay, so that that's my shape. Let's see if we can make this a compound path. So I'm gonna select this. Oof, this one might be hard. Right click, interactive? No, oh, create compound, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Vector, create compound, and you can release compound. Okay, let's see, let's see how this works. Can I just drag an image into this thing and it'll pop up? I have the image here. Moment of truth? Nope, not not quite. Not sure what's happening. Oh, whoa. Okay. Do I have to? S no. There's an image in here. How do I? Where's the image? Let's try that one more time. Drag and drop. So okay, that's moving it on the inside. But where is it? <laughs> where? Where's my image, man? Where's my image? That seems to work. So that works pretty well. Can I preview? With is there a preview? Shortcut key, preview, view, preview mode, control shift W. That didn't change anything, did it? It just removed the guides. Okay. Maybe it needs to be a mask. What if we drag this here, make it go below the compound. And then what if we make the compound a clipping mask? Okay. So I made a clipping mask, but looks like it only clipped the stroke. 
and then create a clipping mask. There we go. Okay, look at us. Functioning a little bit differently. There might be another way to do this, but that works. Okay, now let's, let's do some text. Let's do some text on the other side. Let's start off with a nice frame text tool. Um, we'll drag this out. Very similar to how this works on InDesign. Okay, character. Oh, perfect. Let's do our Futura font. Something like a Demi. Where's the Demi? No Demi. I wonder how getting fonts is like on Affinity Publisher. So basically it sounds like you just have to download the font from somewhere and then as long as your computer has it, you can use it in Affinity, which makes a lot of sense. Drag another frame down. Okay, wait, what happens if it breaks the frame? Let's see. What happens if it's too big? Okay, same thing. If it's too big, it's just going to have this overset thing. And if you double click it, yep, same thing. It's gonna bring everything in. All right, next, let's try to do a two column paragraph. Let's see if we can do that easily. I'm sure it won't be too difficult. So drag out a text box, right click, insert filler text, perfect. Um, let's make this something like a Times New Roman and then we'll use, we'll use like a 14. Oh my God, wait a second. Does it adjust? Guys, this is kind of huge. If you know in Adobe, if you put in filler text, it doesn't adjust. Like it, if you drag this down in Adobe, it's not going to actually add more text. It's gonna keep whatever text is there. It seems like with this, you can actually adjust as you drag out the frame. So, okay, I wonder what happens if I go ahead and just, oh, it's like a singular thing. It's like a smart block of some kind. So I can't actually edit any part of this. Can we make it into legit text? Can we expand field? That's gotta be it. And now I can edit. Wow, that's great. Now let's see if we can make this into two different columns. So, no, no. I wonder if it's also up here like it is last time. Let's see, bullet, <gasps> bullets. Guys, bullets. You don't have to make them by yourself anymore. That's crazy. Well, let me just try this. Whoa, yes. Wait, if I if I go ahead and, oh, no, okay. You, you might still have to make the additional bullets underneath your main line. Oh, here it is, it's right here. It's right here, I feel stupid. Okay, two columns. And you can change this. Wow, they made it like a lot easier. Okay, I just checked the original design. Apparently we don't have two different columns. So we'll switch it back. Okay, so here's another very interesting thing. When your text is more than what the frame is, it actually doesn't just cut off the text. It basically keeps the text shown, but your frame is just small. I'm gonna make this one big text box going all the way down. I wanna put a text wrap in the middle of this with a quote like we did originally green is the best color let's actually make green green can we just do that by oh that's the stroke okay we switch that perfect let's make this maybe a little bit bigger how can i text wrap this where is this thing where is this thing so anyways i was able to actually find it so with this all you have to do is go up to text and then go into the text wrap panel and then show text wrap settings. And you can just go ahead and just make this jump. The one thing that I do wish we could do, and I'll, I'll pull this back up one more time, is I wish I could just pin it somewhere. Is that a thing that we can do? If you guys know, let me know. But I also can't resize this panel. Like you can see that if I go on to the left and right, I can't change the size of this panel. I feel like it'll be nice if I can, you know, dock it in somewhere. But anyways, let's try to finish this off. I think all we have to do now is a picture frame over here. Boom. We'll adjust the corners real quick. By the way, guys, all these images that you're seeing here, I put these images, the link to them on the website in addition to kind of like a text guide for them. So you're welcome to grab both of these images. They're on our website as layout 10. Unfortunately, this image, I believe, was removed from the Pexels website. So I'm using a replacement here from our original layout. Okay, so that was easy enough. Can we also make these blue rectangles? I believe it's in here. Oh, and you can actually start with a rounded rectangle. That's really helpful, so we don't have to use that tool. Um, so let's make a couple here. Strokes panel. We also have to add these blue elements to the left, so it should be easy enough. Drag this over, get rid of the stroke for this one. Rotate this and then make this a little bit wider as well as bigger. And then to finish it off, I'm just gonna do a nice little caption text on the bottom. 
Then all we have to do is export this. So assuming it's file, export, and oh wow, there's a lot. JPEG, PNG. I'm assuming this is all because Illustrator and Photoshop are both in this. So you can do a lot of different ones. Let's do, yeah, there's PDF for print, which is great. And just like that, it looks, looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? I think overall, amazing program. I can't believe it's free. If you guys know how they're using us as a product or how they're making revenue when this, this whole thing is free, let me know down in the comments. I need to know. Overall, super strong program. I think it's just about rewiring your brain a little bit in order to convert the ways of thinking as well as the shortcut keys from InDesign. Did you already switch? Are you going to switch? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you like about this software? What maybe you don't like or wish that it's a little bit better in? Uh, if you guys want more Affinity videos, please leave that in the comments. I'll make sure to do this more. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.